Sets after the Matrix and before the Matrix reloaded. Sparks, the operator of the Logos ship, informs his captain, Niobe, and her first mate, Ghost, that another ship has left them a package in the Matrix. This other ship was the Osiris, a ship that stumbled upon the machine's plot to tunnel underground to eventually attack Zion, who ultimately sacrificed themselves in order to send this message to Niobe. Tap or click in the upper right corner of this video now to see the recap of that Animatrix story. Niobe states that she knew Thaddeus, the captain of the Osiris, well, and therefore she realises how important the package must be. She and Ghost enter the Matrix to retrieve it. They discover that the post office, where the package is located, has been occupied by police, but they retrieve the package and escape from the pursuing police and an agent. They read it to learn what the Osiris discovered, that the machine army is on its way to Zion. Commander Locke tasks Niobe and Ghost with calling the rest of the ships back to Zion to coordinate a defence. They visit an airport in the Matrix to send a coded message to the other ships via payphones. During one call, Niobe learns that Axel, a crew member of the Vigilance ship, has been taken by agents, so she and Ghost must save him with the help of the Vigilance captain, Soren. A mysterious man, who we learn in the Matrix Revolutions is an exiled program called the Train Man, tells Niobe that Zion only lasted 72 hours last time. They meet with these other captains within the Matrix to discuss Zion's defence plans. Agents attack their meeting, so Ghost and Niobe help the other captains to escape. The Keymaker, a program who can open the Matrix's secret doorways to invisible corridors, saves them and presents them with a special key that Neo must use to unlock the future. The Merovingians' henchmen steal the key. In their attempt to get it back, Niobe is captured by Vlad, a vampire and senior henchman of the Merovingian. She escapes and encounters the Merovingian's program wife, Persephone, who exchanges a kiss for access to the captured ghost. The Merovingian destroys the special key, Niobe frees Ghost, and the Keymaker gives them a key to escape the chateau, after which they are chased by the Merovingian's twins programs. They escape and exit the Matrix. We see the Oracle tell Seraph, her guardian program, that there is not much time left. Despite Commander Locke's concern for her, Niobe volunteers her ship to enter the Matrix to find Neo's ship, the Nebuchadnezzar. They find them and agree to help Neo's plan against the machines by destroying a power plant. The Logos receives a call from Seraph who asks them to visit the Oracle. The Oracle explains that Neo is lost between the Matrix and the real world, and that Niobe must eventually know what to do when the time comes. Meanwhile, Zion loses contact with several other ships, which we learn in the Matrix Revolutions is due to Bane being infected with Agent Smith and killing their crews. She leaves and encounters the countless copies of Agent Smith, who says that she can help him find Neo but she quickly escapes and exits the Matrix. The Logos is attacked by Sentinels, so Niobe activates the EMP to destroy them. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you are a Matrix fan and you want to recap all of the information about the trilogy and the games and the Animatrix and generally everything to do with the Matrix story, then subscribe to Jam Punch because I'm releasing a new video every single week. My name is George, this is Jam Punch, and I'll see you next time.